Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the Aviation Selection Test Battery Take Home Test. If you don't have a take home test, uh, email me with ASTV Tango Hotel Tango in the subject box and I'll get it right out to you. Now, I work with numbers all the time. They want to know which statement is true. Is 2 25ths greater than 1 10th? Is 1 10th greater than 3 30ths? Is 2 28 less than 3 35ths? And um, is 5 13ths equal to 4 fifths? I put kill it because we can immediately kill this. Uh, 5 13ths, 4 fifths, it doesn't even, you know, what if we double the numerator denominator it'd be eight tenths we double again it's sixteen twentieths so it doesn't even this is like way off the map and I should have labeled A B C D so D's off the table immediately now I work with numbers all the time and so I have like a funky way of just looking at them and thinking of them, okay? So um, if I was going to look at this, I would be like, okay, well what is this? And I know it's not the proper way of reducing, but if I split this in half, it would be 1 over 12.5 if we split them both. Now the bigger the number, the smaller the fraction like if you had like a half and a sixteenth of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch is way smaller. So the bigger number is really smaller, and the, the bigger number is would be less than one tenth. All right, so we could kill a. If we look at this, this is like an equivalent fraction. If we divide it by three, the numerator and the denominator here, we would have one tenth. So this, this is not true. One tenth is not greater than three thirtieths. It's the same thing. So that only leaves C. All right. So now, what if you can't look at fractions and work them out like that? Okay. No problem. We got all kinds of ways. Five thirds. And I'm just trying to get um, five thirteenths and equals four fifths. We know this is not a true statement, but if you are not that great with working with fractions, every fraction is a division problem. All right. So this is two divided by 25. This is 10 divided by one. This is one and just think about it, just think of it like if you have your numerator and denominator, just think of this just like falling over like this and then your division happens. So the numerator goes in there. Like here, the numerator, boom, it goes in the bracket of division. 30, uh, 35, uh, 28. And what you're going to come up with is de are decimals. You know, if you can't look at them and do it, then hey, we got to go the old-fashioned way. We got to go for the point, right? So, got my handy little calculator here, uh, and you might have to do these by hand, but you know, at any rate, either way, I'm doing them by calculator. Just speed up. I got a lot of videos to do. But if necessary, I could do them by hand. All right, two divided by two five equals, this is point zero eight. Maybe I should write these out in a different color without shaking my camera up too bad. All right, this is point zero eight. This is point one. Is point zero eight greater than point one? No, it is not. We could throw that away. This is an equivalent fraction, like I said before, but this is actually 
the same thing, one tenth, one tenth. So this is actually point one. And this would actually come out to point one. If I three divided by thirty is point one, we get the same answer, and this should be equal. This is not it. So A is not it, B is not it. Now if we took 2 divided by 28, we get point zero seven one. And then less than, we want to see if this is less than 3 divided by 3, 5, point zero eight, point zero eight. That is true. Alright, and then 5 divided by 13 is 0.38 and 4 divided by 5 is 0.8 so 0.8 is not equal to so C is our answer so if you're not very good at fractions I showed you an alternate way to solve this problem and get the points that's what it's all about points but at the same time if you were not that good at fractions I would say pass over this knock out what you could and then come back to this problem but know in your head like look oh man all those fractions I'm not good with fractions I'll come back I'll score points in other areas and then come back to this if there's time so you want to execute these problems as rapidly as possible that's why I employed my little mental method of turning it to one um, 25th or one over 12.5 sorry about that okay so um, that is question number six. Thanks for watching.